There we go. We got some Captain Skyhawk. Y'all might remember this. I know this is one a lot of people remember from their childhoods. And they're like, I remember that game. I don't think I've ever beaten it. I was pretty much on that same uh, line as y'all are growing up. But I have since learned it and still quite enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get ourselves started here. So this is Captain Skyhawk. There's not much music while it's going on, but honestly for an NES it's pretty impressive. It's got an Itrometric at uh, not atmosphere, but layout. <laughs> I guess it could be an isometric atmosphere as well. Um, but yeah, you can actually go up and down in this game. There's a level of height that does matter. Which, of course, you're going to see me staying at the top of the screen so I don't blast into a bunch of mountains on my way to the, the bosses here. It's definitely the safest place, plus their bullets have to go upwards to hit you. So that's more time you have to dodge. Yeah, atmospheric isosphere, of course. Perfect. Um, also, if you kill 100 enemies, you get a 1-up. That would be nice if I managed to snag that, because... Honestly, 1-ups are very nice in this. It gets kind of sketchy later. Oop. That bullet tried. Um, but essentially this game is two loops to completion. But only because the stages are just based exactly the same. Oop. No, no, go up, go up. Don't be going down now. Here we go, first boss down. We're gonna try to take on Brendan. I don't know if it's gonna happen, Karma, but we're gonna try. Gib girl, I'm not sure how long the stages let you rotate before, I guess, forcing you on, but I guess you could essentially fly the uh, one stage is forever for score. The, uh... The stages with the uh, cargo drops. You loop it continually until you get both cargo drops right. Oh yeah, I guess so. Okay, so your fuel's your time limit. Uh, this scene actually right here is the scene that's gonna ca save or cost us the most time in the run, unless of course we miss one of the cargo drops. Um, but I'm not too worried about time for this. But just bringing up some of the speedrun strats. These planes spawn as soon as you destroy them, so the faster you kill them, the better. Alright, we're going on our first dock here. And whoop. there we go. That is timed, you can blow up running into it. First things first, we're just gonna buy a bunch of cannon rounds. Um, because we're at cannon level 4, we can't get cannon level 5 until after this, but cannon level 5 allows you to not need to mash because it's. You could technically mash a little faster than cannon level 5, but it's a nice relief after needing to mash to the first two. So I'm just going to sit over here by this mountain. Avoid all those volcanoes. You can hold select in this and actually do aerial rolls or whatever they're called. Alright, I got the first cargo in. That's good. Yeah, these are the stages you can constantly loop, by the way. I would, my guess would be is to save all your lives until the second one of these stages and then use them all. Because there's a lot more enemies on the second version of the stage. Alright. Uh, one more coming up here. Yeah. No loop for me this time. <clears throat> or get as much out of this one as you can on one fuel life. Also, you're going to see missiles coming from the planes that are spawning in front of us now. So we have to be careful to avoid those. Um, eventually, they'll also come from the planes behind us, so we have to have extra to avoid. But just a little bit of ramp up in difficulty. These stages are interesting in the fact that um, all the patterns are exactly the same. Like, you get the same set of like 10 plane spawns. And the only difference is that each level, it just goes forward one in the spawn cycle. So once you know this, in speedrunning terms, you can easily know which plane is going to spawn where next. The only issue is dodging the bullet and being accurate with your shots. So you got to have the 
the know-how to at least finish it up. Nope. Oh, I got lucky there. I'll, I'll take that. Alright, we're cannon level 5. We don't care about missiles. As you can see, our cannon now, just by holding the A button. Okay, so there's two... As I said, you get two loops. This is the first version of the fast stage. We're actually going to slow down a little bit. Obviously, for speed terms, we would love to just fly through the stage, but unless you know exactly the route you're going through, you're going to hit a mountain going at that speed. Uh, a lot of people who played this, I don't think knew this. I didn't know this growing up, but you can actually adjust the speed holding select and hitting up or down. Just like you can actually do a roll and turn a lot faster even by holding select and hitting left or right. But yeah, it's, it's interesting. I never knew that. And when I learned that, I was like, wow, this stage is so much easier and or more difficult if I wanted to speed it back up after dying. Oh, not even going full speed there. I still hit the mountainside. But yeah, you can actually adjust your speed in this mission, which is nice. I gotta put it back up to something crazy like this. And almost hit a mountainside because of it, so we're gonna slow back down. <laughs> All right, we're on the boss. Let's get it. All right, there we go. Destroyed the second base. Two or four bases down. Now we got to make our way next mission to save the scientists. The scientists have the mega weapon. It's a very original story. What an Oscar. Alright, there we go. Now we just gotta cycle through all of this again. Still no missiles from behind yet. So I have to worry about that. That'll come up next mission in each mission after that. But there's one of these in each mission section. And we looped. Oh, I also mentioned you do two loops through that every time as well. You can actually time this to be much riskier, by the way, to get inside here for the speed run, like way up top of the screen, but it's a little crazy. All right, let's go save a scientist. That's right, each one has half the weapon. Like, I can't speed up this mission. You might ask, like, we just got off the last mission and I was able to adjust the speed. That's the only mission you could adjust the speed on. You can only just make it slower or faster if you slow it down or if you die. Because if you die in those stages, it starts you slow. <laughs> and I, when I was little, I was always I was always like, yes, I love the super fast speed going through this. Oh, I hit a mountain. That's yeah, regular speed now. <laughs> that was it's pretty much the... The story of me playing this as a child. <laughs> it is fun to go fast in those stages. But yeah, first scientist stage is actually super short, which is nice. Oop, that bullet got me. There we go. Alright. Boosh! First scientist rescued. Essentially the halfway point. <clears throat> Scientist's gonna get on board. We're taking off. Beautiful. First half of secret weapon installed says right there. Scientist on board. Of course, now we have to fight a ton of jets on our way out. As you can see, the missiles are coming from behind now, so you gotta be wary of that. They will instantly hit you if you are uncareful. They're a little more dangerous. It's, it's just because I know exactly where they're going to come from. Makes it easy enough to avoid. And just like sitting mid-screen and reacting over. Trying to go fast. But those still probably be a missile death or two in this run. Because they, they, they're sneaky. They are very sneaky. They know what they're doing. I know what they're doing with their missiles and their missiles. Serious? Alright. Space station time. 
I guess this was actually the halfway bar. And oops, the up of my controller is not doing its best at the moment. Uh, you can't just stay there either. It will force you to fly in at some point. All right. Loop two. Here we go. The color's a little different, but it's, it's going to be the first stage again. Uh, just longer with more enemies. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I, this is a Rare game, and Rare has really good music in a lot of their games. But... Uh, there was something about music couldn't play during these sections of the game, unfortunately, because it has good music. You just don't really hear it that much mid-run, you're just, like, even if I'm not shooting, it's just nothing but jet engine coming across the, uh, across the game, but, hey, at least we get little tidbits of music. This, might, this is the worst overall music, I'd probably say, just because it just doesn't exist in most of this run for this block. But, I mean, we got all the Gradiuses coming up, one through three, retro Gradiuses. Dragon, Dragon Spirit it has excellent music, so I'm, I'm excited. Once again, I'd like to remind everyone, lots of incentives to donate towards. This is RGL's flagship uh, event for uh, for helping the team, because we need money for you know equipment and such, so much appreciation to everyone who's donated, and there's many more incentives still if you want to donate towards those, or if you just want to donate. Either way, bits, subs, straight donations, it all helps. We thank you very, very much. Get out of my way. Jay almost hit me with a missile back there. It was really close. And oh, also, you can only have one missile on... They can only have one missile on the screen at a time. So if there's one coming from behind, the ones that spawn forward, you don't have to worry about it. You can just get in front of them then. Or same the other way around. Did they? Did you butt me? I butted you, wizard man. Prepare to be butted. Well, that was close. Alright, continuing on. Now we have our second cargo mission stage. Cargo! I like how the, the shadow for our jet here is just a circle. <laughs> You're like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, first one coming up. There we go. This is probably the stage you would loop for score. And every time you take out, like, a block of enemies, like, there's five in a pattern, you usually get a point bonus for that. So I could see that being a nice way to, spawn, like, right here. Oh, I missed the last one, or else I think I got a little coin to spawn. Ooh. Oh, that was also close. That's the benefit of staying as furthest as you can above, though, because, um... The bullets really do need to climb to hit you, and most of the time they just won't make it high enough fast enough. What's going on, Ashen? What's going on, RG Love? I don't know if I addressed you directly, RG Lovers out there, but it's really nice having you all here. It's been super fun. Both T uh, Tecmo Super Bowl and the Prop Hunt yesterday legitimately had my ribs hurting, so I actually had to sleep a little extra today to recover from it. Brendan just sucks at hitting deliveries. Yeah, pretty much. That was definitely an excellent Doom run. <laughs> Patrick... I, I honestly can't believe it got didn't get clipped. The Patrick moment in in uh, prop hunt last night was 
it, I almost had to mute because I was laughing so hard and my stomach was hurting so bad at that point. Well worth it, I will say that, that much. Alright, speed stage number two. We're gonna slow down. You can actually slow down more than that if you want to. You can slow it down to this level. Four levels of speed, I think. But the second fastest is doable, so we'll just stick it that for now. <laughs> That's Percy, Marcy, oh, sorry, sorry. Percy, have Marcy, Darcy, eight inches of RC, Cola Snow. Thank you very much, Ash. Please get the nickname right. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, Miz. Oh my god, that friggin' TSB nicknames were killing me. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> it's still making me laugh, I can't even concentrate, it's still making me free laugh. Alright. So we're on the final base stage here. Um, once this is down, all the shields will be down, now we just need to rescue the last scientist. Uh, 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 Fro did once, in the first game against the Broncos we did. Yo, Infamous Town, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Much appreciated. Oh, see, so it tried to sneak a missile out there. I Barely got out of the way of that one. <laughs> it's really fun. Captain Skyhawk is super fun. Just get cannon level 5 so you don't have to mash anymore. There's also a bunch of missiles you can get. Like I haven't used any of them because essentially you don't really need them. Um, because the cannon usually takes everything out pretty quick, but it's still pretty helpful against, like, bosses and stuff. I just never grab them because speedrunning. Uh-oh. Wow, I got lucky. I can't just fill up a missile's map, though. Got all the credits for it. There we go. We're full of bombs now. <laughs> Alright, last mission here. the water mission again. This one is by far the longest mission in the game, I want to say. Also has the biggest BS mines in the entire game. That those! The hitboxes on those are stupid. Utterly stupid. I still don't know what they are. <laughs> you really have to be way out of the way to not be hit by one of those mines. And they sneak up on you quickly. Like, I just ran sideways out of the picture. Oh, I got a coin there for destroying all those boats. Really lucky there. No! Stay to the side. Stay to the side. There we go. Those mines are my biggest fear of any enemy in this game because they just have such an awkward hitbox. It's so easy to get hit by them. But I do like the sweeping motion. If you're looking to play this game, the strat you see me use pretty much the entire run is the sweeping motion that I'm doing here. Hold down and sweep. Because if you're holding down, that means your plane is going upward and staying up from the top of the screen. Thus being its safest. There we go. Oh, I got lucky that one just didn't blow up. Do I need to sit on the side here? Still not there yet. Well, we're there now. Okay, good. Alright, this one can't actually hit us. We're so high in the air. 
Boosh! Second scientist saved. SSS. That's what that means. Second scientist saved. Now we got a super weapon. Or we will have a super weapon. It's not quite over yet. We do have a last boss to, to, uh, to hit. Uh, and of course we have to fly away with all these jets here and uh, go back to the space station one more time. Uh, the manual actually explains what kind of jet you're using here, some hybrid super space jet, but hey, it's, it's fun. Now I have the manual on hand. Go. Hey, there's a missile. <laughs> Caught me right from behind. I was trying to be a little too quick there. I was waiting for it. Yep. <clears throat> but thank you for the preemptive GGs. Now, here's the final boss. Oh, don't die again. There we go. We did not game over. I am quite satisfied with that run. That is Captain Skyhawk. And now we shall put in for such a wonderful event.